with these ideas on his own. These are 200-year-old ideas. Where did he get them? The University of Wisconsin professors, the same types of people who raised me, the same types of people who educated me and are educating our generation. We, <laughs> I cannot stress how important it is for us to simply take the left at their words and say, oh, that's how you would run the business? That's your vision for America? It's all on tape. It is all on tape. So, I'd like to conclude by promising, in the immortal words of Dirk Diggler, that we're going to keep rocking and rolling and making better films. <laughs> I just want to say, uh, if you like what you're hearing, there's a great video here put out by Bill Arnold called What Prior Law, What We Believe. Uh, you should take a look at it. Thank you. I, it's time for us to go. And I don't know if we're going to have time for questions. I just There's one thought that I think that can tie all this together that I'd like to leave you with. Uh, we look back on, on what most people would consider the most evil event in human history when we think of the Holocaust and the Nazis. Uh, let's say six million Jews gassed to death in the, in the Holocaust. In the Soviet Union, there were 30 million people, certainly no less than that, were put to death by that regime. The, the communist Chinese regime may have been 50 million people. You put together the number of people killed by communists, and you can fairly easily, without too much work, come up with a number that's at least 10 times greater. So why is it that when we think about evil, the Nazis are who we go to, and not the communists? What's the difference? There's one simple difference. It's a very simple difference. What's the difference? Their country of origin. No. Movies. Pictures. Pictures. It's just that simple. We have pictures of the people who died in German concentration camps. We have no pictures of anybody who ever died in Soviet concentration camps, in Chinese forced collective camps. No pictures, no history. It's just that simple. It's pictures. We have history, we have written history, we have testimony. Nobody cares. It's the pictures. And when Mark Twain was writing about um, the Belgian Congo, 10 million Africans killed by King Leopold I of Belgium. Anybody ever heard of this? Nobody's heard of this. A few people have heard of this. Why? No pictures. There's no pictures. So when James and, and Christian are out there, you can say that the left is biased and, and, and racist and all that other stuff. Nobody believes you. Nobody cares. But when you have leftist union members at a rally calling for the lynching of Clarence Thomas, when you have people in Acorn saying, yeah, prostitute, that'd be, well, let's make you a performance artist. There's no way to get around that. It's an irreversible trap. Pictures, go get some pictures. That's time for us to break up. Good seeing you here. Bye-bye.